we've talked a lot today on this Star Championships Day as we're into a decade of championship racing about just the history. And this is the oldest one of the lot today, 1861, a few weeks before the first Melbourne Cup this derby was run in the spring. So let's hear about the history of the race. In the spring of 1861, not only was the first Melbourne Cup held, but north of the border, the AJC Randwick Derby Stakes was also first run. Now known as the ATC Australian Derby, the 2,400 metre Group 1 for three-year-olds has been won by champions of all eras, including Farlap, Tullock and Kingston Town, who in 1980 provided TJ Smith with a record ninth derby. Kingston Town racing away from Mr. Independent. Fellow Cox Plate legends Dulcify, Bone Crusher and Octagonal also left their mark on the race. Kiwi Murray Baker has won the race five times, including with Star Colt, It's a Done Deal in 2013. And in 2020, when alongside Andrew Forsman, he trained Quick Thinker to victory. Quick Thinker just in front from Zabrowski. Quick Thinker holds on. Yeah, what a history, eh? And a lot of New Zealand history in this race as we look down at the great stands, the wink stand here at uh, Royal Randwick, the theatre of the horse in the background. So, Richo, we're going to have a New Zealand favourite in the race and Sharp and Smart. They've had a lot of success here, but uh, he's so strong, isn't he? I mean, here he was to be beaten, but tell us about the favourites that have been able to do it. Well, they've won five out of the last ten New Zealand uh, trained horses, but it's not necessarily been the favourite. It's been ones that have run sort of second and third and fourth in the derby, and the first four across the line are all here. And the two that were able to do it, Bonafide Superstars, Dundeal and the mighty Bone Crusher, be a favourite over from New Zealand and win. Sharp and smart, by all reports from um, both Deb and also Graham Rogerson, they say he's special. He'll win today and then back up in the Queen Elizabeth. Boy, oh boy they've never lacked confidence. Well, certainly <laughs> Roger, I can't speak for Deb quite as much. The funny thing about that New Zealand derby was mm. the prices of the horses behind Sharp and Smart. So Andalus was $102. Unbelievable. And he, and he, and and he ran enormous and ran within half a length of he him. He did. So do you give him a chance? Well, he's not the right jockey, hasn't he? Yeah, exactly. Zach Purton's on fire at the moment. Of course, I give him a chance. Uh, I, I thought his run was super. I know it's it's a step up again, uh, especially uh, being on the wet track, which he's never seen. He probably wanted it to be uh, a little bit firmer, but you just can't underestimate the Kiwi. Yeah. Virtuous circle will run really well. Major Beal, second in the Tullock Stakes, where he was right there on speed. Um, he's placed on a heavy track before. I've just got a few from that wide gate. I've got a few ahead of him. Yes, and for Gay, you talked about the fact that uh, this one's eluded. Sarity has been a firmer into $17. Williamsburg, 34 to 18. Manzoy, 16 to $19. Angelus at 23 and 23 or more for the remainder. Domingo did briefly trim into 51 bucks, but back to $71. Imagine what you could be buying instead. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen and visit the website. Heracles has backed it up with a good performance in the yard. Williamsburg also, he's somewhere in the mix. I don't know the Kiwi horse looks wise but they all have presented really nicely so if you're with any of the Kiwi horses they all look in top order but I'm going the way of Manzois. Thanks for that Lizzie. Richo we've only got three minutes to the start good luck. Yeah I'm with Roggie uh, your instructions to uh, you. What a trainer he's been. Saffa Bill remember him Cox Plate and of course he's won a golden slipper in a Melbourne Cup Roggie. Ben the hot horse for the all important Australian derby from the tab. He's genuinely one of the greats, isn't he? 40% of the hold is going the way of Sharp and Smart, so that's reflective of, what, a horse at around $2.50, something like that. $3.80 still available, so Sharp and Smart is the hot horse. Emma, what do you think? I am with Pericles to turn the tables on the start, last start, knowing that he needed to settle more in the yard today, which I think he's done. It would be an anniversary to remember for James McDonald as well, about 10 years since done deal. But throwing in a little roughy in Williamsburg, who's... Wet form is very nice indeed. I'm with Sharp and Smart, and my best roughy in the race is Stroke of Luck, who had uh, none of it, as Lizzie referenced last start. I think it can improve. Lizzie, what do you think? Uh, sticking with Manzois, he's a, he's a bit of a roughy in this race, but I've just loved him all the way through this preparation, Bruce. I think he finds a race where he can be very effective. I do agree with Emma. Williamsburg is one of the better parades in the yard, and Pericles, well, he hasn't put a foot wrong, has he? He's just got to run out the 2,600 metres. What do you think, Katie? I'm thinking elliptical with the blinkers back on. I think it's uh, a smart move 
getting to the Derby trip now the blinkers and he's drawn a really good barrier so Mark Zaro's only ride today but he's got options uh, as to where he wants to sit with him he's fourth up just a sense of timing for mine so still about a half a dozen to go in it's, it's, it's a fairly sharp run to the first turn here so barriers we feel on a day like today, probably not playing that much, but Pericles has got a great draw. It would be an incredible result for Godolphin to have the derby winner here for James McDonald, who won it, as uh, Emma said, on It's a Done Deal back in 2013. So you look back at this race and we've looked at the history, but Farlap, Tullock, Kingston Town, it's not a bad way to start, is it? How about that? Three of the original five in racing's Hall of Fame. It's the race really around the world that everybody wants to win. We saw it in Hong Kong, what, a couple of weeks ago, a different derby for older horses. But anywhere you go, they say, oh, gee, derby special, isn't it? And this one is. It's the Australian derby, and we're about to go. Round week. The three-year-olds are ready to go. The gates are back now and the big field is off and racing. Banzoi's taken back with Virtuous Circle. Williamsburg set of stalls jumped out well. Andalus handily in the stride together with Pericles. Domingo going forward. Japanese Emperor is trying to push right up along the inside running rail. Followed by Elliptical. Then came Major Bill in the first half of the field from Stroke of Luck. Then Cheval Savant from Suzuro. Uh, further back to Tapple Doodle Doo. Just a bit wide full of sincerity from Twigman. Then came High Approach. Now the favourite is fourth last sharp and smart in a three wide position in advance of Mark Twain, Manzois, and Virtuous Circle is the last one. Domingo races to the lead now. Out by a length or so to Major Beale, tugging along in second. Williamsburg drops the head in third on the inside of Andalus. Pericles three back the paint, followed by Elliptical. Stroke of Luck stranded three wide, trying to go forward. At least he's getting plenty of air today, Stroke of Luck. Then Japanese Emperor, in between runners to zero, followed by Fuller Sincerity there on the white cap, just in advance of Tapple Doodle Doo, Cheval Savant back on the rails. Then came the favourite Sharp and Smart from Twigman, high approach, Virtuous Circle trying to improve its position from Manzois, and Mark Twain in the blue cap is last of all of the Derby field, goes down the back section of the course. 1,300 metres to run. Domingo in front by a half length to Major Beale. Williamsburg still switched off in third position on the inside of Andalus and Stroke of Luck goes to fifth now. In advance of Pericles, then came Elliptical. Wider out full of sincerity and Mark Twain takes off a long way from home and Bowman gets onto his back on sharp and smart. Man's always got going as well, so a bit of a shuffle up here. It's Domingo leading down the side from Major Beale. Andalus pulls three wide. Stroke of Luck four wide. Mark Twain, Manzois deeper out trying to come into the race. Williamsburg back on the fence from Pericles Elliptical. Sharp and smarts out pretty deep but plenty of cover with Virtuous Circle. Uh, further back then to Japanese Emperor High Approach. Tapple Doodle Doo Twigman and Cheval Savant's last of a bunching field. Major Bill races to the lead now from Mandela's second. Stroke of Luck third. Then Mark Twain from Manzois looping the field is Virtuous Circle and Sharp and Smart still three lengths away. Major Bill leads at the 300 metres from Andalus and Virtuous Circle charming in. Clear from Stroke of Luck. Sharp and Smart still three lengths away. Major Bill in front of Virtuous Circle. Virtuous Circle moving up to Major Bill. Major Bill still kicking from Virtuous Circle. Major Bill lifting in the derby and Major Bill too good. Beat Virtuous Circle. Suzuro rattling home into third. Sharp and Smart fourth followed by High Approach. Then came Elliptical from Stroke of Luck Andalus to Twinkman, Tapple, Doodle Doo that was next, followed in by Mark Twain, full of sincerity. Pericles in the second half of the field from Japanese Emperor, Williamsburg, Domingo, Cheval Savant, and Manzois has finished near last. So a son of Savabul, that sort of is appropriate today. So Gaze tick that box along with Adrian Bott. Virtuous Circle and Suzero. This is going to be an unbelievable trifecta oh. and a big first four. So we can forget about Gay not having won the derby. The only two that remain now in Sydney are the Surround and the Winks, and they're oh so new. She'll get those. She'll get the lot. We know that. What a story for Gay and also for Adrian and for Tim Clark. So, boy, oh boy, he had a lovely run on the pace, didn't he? We maybe doubted his ability at the trip, but uh, you can't. What are they? Yeah. The muscle and bone of the waterhouse. <laughs> so tough and so fit. A Savabeel over an O'Reilly mare, Graham. And they just didn't go all that hard, did they? So they, a lot of those horses had to really cart the field up and come around in that four wide line. And 
Major Bill just scooted around the corner and away he went. Uh, well done to Gay Wardhouse and Adrian Bott. Uh, Adrian bought at his sister's wedding today. So there you go. That's why we haven't seen Body. Well, Gay will be front to Emma. Uh, it, it, I think you've got Neil Payne. So it's the 20th time that Adrian Bott's had a, go, a group one with Gay. And Gay, well, she gets to 154, but she gets the derby, Emma, for the first the derby. time. She does, Bruce. And Neil Payne's been with the team for a long, long time. He's dressed in his black and white. Oh. What a great thrill for the stable. She's been wanting to win one of these classics for a long, long time. Finally gets Gay gets her first oh, derby and what a great thrill with Adrian. I know Gay will be watching. She watches Channel 7 all the time. How good Gay, you won a derby, an AJC derby. Gay's picked this horse out. Gay and Adrian picked this horse out a long time. We have got beautiful owners in this horse. So many just nine to five punters that get here and work every day and they're brought into this horse. Now they've actually won an AJC derby. It's, the thrill is unbelievable. We're, we're all jumping up and down. You know, it's it's um, Adrian, unfortunately, not here today because he had a family commitment. Well, it's he his was... sister's wedding, believe it or not. A very big family commitment. He was here to the size and he had a nick yeah! off. So I'm, I'm, I'm sure Adrian, I'm sure Adrian at the wedding will be going berserk. Oh, good, good on you, mate. Great to see you, Neil. Congratulations to the team, buddy. Thanks, Em. Thanks. Uh, he's such a character, isn't he? He's so beautifully dressed. We know that he's a terrific jockey in his own right. And that is such a result. What an ast oh, look at this. What an historic day for Waterhouse and now Waterhouse and Bot. It really is. You, all that TJ Smith and Gay Waterhouse history that we talk about at Royal Ramwick. And she ticks a really big box today. You know what? She'll be bursting with pride, oh, won't she? She was thrilled with that performance. And... And with Timmy Clark's ride, he really pinched it around the corner and I was screaming hard for Virtuous Circle. Of course, a family member has a, a, a small share in him and he looked like he That's was... That's James's mum, isn't home. it? Home, yeah. He's, he's run unbelievable. Liam Howley will be... Uh, he'll be stoked with that performance. So, Emma, I reckon we might get down to you or to Rich. Get down to you, Emma, because I can see Tim Clark, eh? Oh, Tim, congratulations, and what a ride. That's one of the best I've seen. You just waited so patiently, and then around the bend, just clicked. Yeah, look, he, um, he travelled a bit strong throughout because he he's come out of two really fast run races, and then obviously up in trip to a really you know, steady mile and a half. He um, just over-travelled a bit throughout, but it was obviously that was helping him get through the ground. And you know, I felt them coming down the side, but um, just mindful, just trying to hold on to him and help him as long as I could. And uh, he showed a, a, a great turn of foot at the top of the straight. But you know, on the on the on the line, late, you know, the second horse is coming to him. He he really dug in and, and fought hard, like he like last week. But um, thanks, thankfully, he was able to get his head in front today. Tim, you've been with the stable for a really long time. You've won many great races for the Waterhouse Bot Yard, but this would be a great thrill because it is Gay's first Australian derby. Yeah, massive thrill to, to win a, in a race like like this and to give Gay her first. I've been able to win a couple of races to, to give Gay her first in them, but there's not many that she hasn't won, so it's nice to, to tick, this, tick this box and um, got a really good friend involved in the ownership, so uh, yeah, great thrill. Seems like a relief. Congratulations. Thank you. You can see that, Tim. Look at this. You, you, yeah, M, M, you picked it up so well. Just how it was. An historic win. Gay gets her first derby win here. He's the son of Sava Bill. He was a wonderful three-year-old himself. Sava Bill, he won a spring champion and a Cox Plate. And he's become the champion sire, like his father, Bill, was of New Zealand.